Hi everyone. In this video, I will explain how to determine deflection of the simply supported beam with moment and point load. In this problem, we need to determine the slope at A and the maximum deflection in the beam given EI is constant. First of all, we need to draw M over EI diagram. Before we draw the diagram, we need to identify direction at the support. In this case, we need to find VA and VB. Applying the equation of equilibrium, so I'm taking a moment at A equal to 0, VB times 24, Minus 12 times 8, minus 24 equal to 0. So, therefore, Vv equal to 10 kilo newton. Then, force in the y direction equal to 0. Va plus Vv equal to 12 kilo newton. And we can find that Va is 2 kilo Newton. So, we already have your VA is 12 kilo, uh, 10, VA is 2 kilo Newton and VV is 12 kilo Newton. Now, by using graphical method, draw M over EI diagram. So, I start with the axis of X and Y. Okay, Y is M over EI. So, now, 2, okay, 2 with the region of 6 meter, 2 times 6 is 12, okay, and then I plus with 24 will give 36, okay, so this is 36, this is 12, right? Then, I start with at a point B, 10 times 6 is 60, so it will give in here is 60 kilo newton meter. So this is M over EI diagram. I will cut. Okay, so I will make it as four different area. Okay, so it make will make us easy to calculate. The area under the graph. So this one I will make it as a1, this two is a2, a3, and a4. Okay, now we determine the slope at a. So as we know that when we want to find the slope at a, we need to draw the tangent line. So I will draw the tangent line first. Okay, at point A, from point A, I draw the tangent line. So, I'll say that this is tangent A. Then, one more tangent, okay, which is at B. So, this I will call tangent B. So, you can find the angle at A, the slope at A. But how you want to define the slope at A? So, as you can see here, we can have another tangent derivative. So, it between tangent A and point B. So, it called TBA. What is called tangent derivation from B with respect to the A. Okay, from here, this triangle, we can identify that your slope at A is equal to T B over A divided by length of the B. Okay, so the slope at A is theta A is equal to negative T B over A divided by length. So now we want to identify T B over A. Okay, based on this 
M over E I diagram. T B over A is equal to area from A to B. Using theorem number 2, we can define that T B over A is X bar A B M over E I D X. So, we need to calculate one by one area. So, we start with the area number 1. The X bar is 1 third. Okay. 1 third times with 6. And then you need to plus 12 plus 6. So, plus with 18. So, this is X bar. And then times with the area is half times 12 over I times with 6. Okay. So, this is for A1. And then I plus with the A2 which is rectangular. So, the X bar is 12 divided by 2 plus with 6. Okay. And then we need to times with the area 36 EI times with 12. So, this is for A2. Then... Plus with A3. Okay. The A3 for X bar is 1 third. Okay. Times with 12. Okay. Times with 12. And then you need to plus with 6. Okay. Then the area is half times with. Okay. So you have a 36. And then this is 60. 60 minus 36 is 24. 24 EI times with 12. Then you plus with A4. A4 is 2 third. Okay, the X bar is 2 third times 6. Then the area is half times 60 EI times with 6. Okay. So, therefore, your T B over A will have 8064 divided by EI kilo Newton meter cube. Then, substitute into this. Question. So you can define that. Okay, six four divided by e i, and the line is twelve plus six plus six, so is twenty four. Therefore, you will get negative three hundred thirty six over e i. Okay, so this is negative. Kilo Newton meter power of 2. Okay, so we already find the slope at point A. Next, we define the maximum deflection. Okay, let's take a look in the beam. Based on elastic curve, the maximum deflection, okay, in the region of 6 meter, between 6 meter to 12 18 meter. Okay, such as I assume that point C. So there will be at point C, it will give the maximum deflection. So it will cause in here at point C. So now I need to identify the x value in here right so we need to assume the zero slope dv over dx equal to zero where okay so i will draw right tangent dv over dx 
So, this will call the tangent C. PV over dx. Right. So, in here, we know that this angle, okay, this angle is theta C over A. Okay, theta C with respect to point A. Right, from the M over EI diagram, we calculate the area of theta C A here. Okay, is equal to the area from A to C. So, this is a point C. Okay, from area to the point C. Okay, we apply the theorem number 1. Okay, apply the theorem number 1. We know that theta A is equal to theta C over A. Okay, sorry, negative theta A is equal to theta C over A. Okay, by applying, we C over A is, right, look at M over EI. So, we just cover the area in here. Okay, we want to define the x value. So, we assume the slope must be equal to 0. Right, so before that, we need to identify the value in here. So, how we need to identify? Okay, by using ratio. Alright, so this is a point C. So, of course, it's 60 and this is 36. So, I make it, this is 24. Right? So, this is 24. I start with the 0. So, this is 12 total up. And this is X. So, we want to find the C value. Okay, C divided by X equal to 24 divided by 12. So, the value C is 2x. Okay. C equal to 2x. Right. So, now C equal to 2x. Right. We calculate using theorem number 1. The area is theta C over A. Okay, the area 1 half, okay, times with 12 EI, then we times with 6 with the area, plus with the area number 2, 36 over EI, okay, times with X, okay, here, right, the area number 2 here, okay, we times with Length is X. And then number 3, the small triangle. We need to turn with X. So half plus with half times with the length. The height is 2X. Okay. And then times with X. Okay. So is equal to theta A. So, this is 366 divided by EI. So, negative-negative is positive over EI. Right. So, therefore, you will get the equation x power 2 plus 36x minus 300 equal to 0. Solving the root, we can define that x is equal to 6.98 meter, right? Based on m over ei, this length, okay, x, 
equal to 6.98 meter. Then, we want to define back to the beam. Okay, we want to define the T over AE. This is a maximum. Okay, this is a maximum. Okay, so or uh, equal to T A C. Okay, because the tangent C. Okay, right, go to tangent A. So tangent A we respect to the C. Now the maximum deflection. Okay. T what T A C is max is the area under the graph from C to point A. So we just cover in this area okay from point C to the A okay. by using children number two okay so is equal to third okay times with six the x bar and then the area half times twelve over e i times six then we plus with area number two we get the x bar is six point nine eight rectangular divided by two then plus with 6, okay, times with the area is rectangular, times with length is nine, uh, 6.98, okay, then we plus another triangle, which is the x bar is 2 third times with 6.98, Plus with 6. Okay. Times with the area. Half. Times 6.98. Okay. Then times with 2x. 6.98. So 2x. This is 2x. For C. Therefore we will get 3048 over EI kilo newton meter cube. So, it's going down. Right? That is the value of maximum deflection for simply supported beam with the moment and point load. That's all for now. Thank you for watching.